Hey there, my name is John. I'm going to show you how uh, I am going to modify my Zag keyboard, probably one of the best keyboards I've ever seen for an iPad. And one of the problems with this uh, with this keyboard is that the the iPad display tends to fall off if you got it sitting on on your lap. And you know, depending on the angle of your your lap, that thing can easily fall over like that. Or you go to pick the thing up and you got this thing dangling there and it's just, just not really uh, uh, a, a good design. So I came up with the idea, the thing to do would be to grab a uh, magnetic cover, you can get one for, on eBay for about seven, eight bucks, and, and there's that little hinge piece in there that attaches to the iPad and take that and glue it down onto the uh, keyboard itself so the laptop will actually or the uh, iPad uh, display will actually click down in there and mag be held there magnetically. These uh, magnetic pieces that uh, come on those magnetic covers you just pull the end caps off and that, that, that magnetic piece will be there. Um, apply glue here and then we're going to slip it down into that that keyboard area there. Now one of the things I've noticed, I, uh, I glued it with epoxy first shot and uh, it was fine until I hit some cold weather then it kind of popped loose and that's not good. So what I'm going to do and what I have done so far is taking a, uh, a uh, some sandpaper and I've roughed this edge up here just to give the, uh, the epoxy something to adhere to and then I'm going to do the same thing to the uh, Zag keyboard and I'm going to uh, take a Dremel tool or some sandpaper and I'm going to uh, just along it underneath there I'm going to uh, rough it up so that the, uh, the adhesive will stick to it. This time around I'm going to use JB Weld so uh, I think JB Weld is going to work a little better than the epoxy I had chosen you know, super glue, unless it's fitting super, super tight, is not going to work. I would not even recommend super glue. Um, some have recommended Gorilla Glue. Uh, I don't think Gorilla Glue is going to work very well because it's, it, I think it likes more porous materials. So one of the things uh, you, you, you'll notice when you look at this, uh, one of the things you'll notice when you look at this hinge right here is that the, the metal hinge itself is kind of, this pin that comes out is, set on the back side of the way it will fit in there and so what you you need to do is kind of sand it almost at an angle because this thing doesn't sit exactly flat in the keyboard area it'll actually be slightly tilted so when I sanded it I kind of sanded this front edge down to kind of give it a little bit more of a bevel but there will be enough glue that goes in there that it uh, won't um, matter that much it will fill, fill the gap it's not going to fit precise for that matter well, one of the things I noticed here, looking at this, uh, this is not metal like I thought it was. I mean, it looks like aluminum, but it appears to be plastic, because as I scrape down on there, it looks like it's white underneath there. Anyway, um, I'm just going to use this little Dremel tool piece here, and just come along and just kind of scratch along this area here, kind of take some of that stuff up, where this thing's going to be glued. That way, when that JB Weld which I think is going to work better than anything. When that JB Weld hits that area, it's going to glue really well. Obviously, you can't glue smooth surfaces very reliably. This is my uh, weapon of choice here. This is JB Weld, and uh, we are going to use it to uh, glue everything down. Well, as you see, I've taken uh, two even amounts, or fairly even amounts of uh, JB Weld and I'm going to stir these puppies together. You'll see I've got this magnetic piece in place and what I'm going to do is just throw a nice little bead right along in there. You got to be very careful not to get this so it glues to your iPad, that would not be a good thing. I have a 
I'm going to do is carefully put this down about where it needs to be. Get it in there in place for shot. I think the thing is uh, dry. It looks like my uh, glue is sealed. And there we go. If you'll notice now, you'll see the uh, thing is glued down in there fairly well. And there we are. I can hold it like that. I can put the thing on my lap and generally don't have to worry about it falling off very easily. So, there you go.